So, Tom, what do we know about this, uh, how this whole thing happened? Can I just quickly bring you the breaking news uh, just uh, off Please. the top here, uh, and that is the following. The FAA just putting out a statement essentially saying that the MAX 9s will remain grounded until they are all inspected and fixed. 171 planes between Alaska Airlines and United. I'm just quickly going to read from the statement from the FAA, quote, Boeing 737-9 aircraft will remain grounded until operators complete enhanced inspections, which include both left and right, cabin door exit plugs, door components, fasteners. Operators must also complete corrective actions uh, re as required by the FAA. The bottom line here is that now the, the various airlines, Jose, have received the orders and the directions on how to inspect these door plugs looking for any potential issues like the one that we experienced on Friday night on that flight uh, coming from Portland down to California. It probably takes in the neighborhood of four to five, six hours to inspect each individual door plug looking for any potential problems. And then the corrective action, of course, uh, might take even longer than that. But because we do have, as you mentioned, 171 planes nationwide grounded, United and Alaska Airlines pl uh, planes, these are the only airlines to fly the MAX 9s, that has resulted in hundreds of flight cancellations across the country. Uh, I just yesterday was trying to fly across the country. I couldn't do there, couldn't, couldn't do that, couldn't get from point A to point B quickly. And a lot of families are experiencing a similar problem. Uh, thankfully, nobody was injured on this incident involving this particular MAX 9 on Friday night. Amazingly, nobody was sitting in the two seats near that hole that opened up. They were at 16,400 feet, managed to mm. land safely back in Portland. Uh, but boy, it was a very close call. And the concern Oof. was if it happened at a higher altitude, it could have been catastrophic.